I'm Jana Rubino, and this is your Microsoft and Windows News Roundup. Let's get to it. First up, there's a brand new Surface type cover on the market. It's called Blush Blend. It's from John Lewis and Partners, and it's only available in the UK for 150 pounds. No word if Blush Blend will go to other markets. We'll, of course, keep you posted if and when it does, but let me know what you think. Is it something you'll buy? All right, next up is the Chromium Edge browser, something we've been talking about now for a few months. We've had a preview of it, and now it is finally available. Yes, you can go download it to your PC and Surface, and well, you can have a blast like you're using the Chrome browser but just an Edge version. So if you haven't been following, Microsoft is switching the Edge browser to a Chromium-based one, and it does look a little bit like Edge, but sort of in between. Now the focus right now for Microsoft on this browser is merely to make sure it works well, that all your websites load on it. So don't get fixated on the way it looks. All that will be changing. As of right now, there's two versions of this browser. There's a dev version, which gets updated once a week, and then there's Canary. That one gets updated daily, and at the end of every week, the best one of those gets released to dev. Later on, there will be a beta version, which will be even more stable. As to when can we see a final version of this browser, don't expect it to at least fall 2019, maybe even spring 2020. But overall, reception so far to this browser has been excellent. It's very stable to use, and it does load all your extensions, whether they're from the Microsoft Store or they're going to be the Chrome extensions. Yes, you can just install any Google extension you want. It's been pretty bliss. And don't forget those extensions you can install, whether from the Microsoft Store or you can actually install them from the Chrome Store as well. So the world is your oyster. Overall, though, this looks like a solid release from Microsoft so far. In smaller news, Pinterest has released an app to the Microsoft Store. Now, I personally don't really use Pinterest too much, but what makes this app interesting is it's a PWA, that is a progressive web app. And if you've been following this channel, I talk a lot about PWAs because I do believe they are the future for apps. And this is another shining example of how PWA can work on Windows 10 and how well it works. Other examples are Hulu and, of course, Twitter. Apps I use daily have been very good. Now, this Pinterest one is based off of their website, which is, of course, PWA. And Pinterest is one of the first companies to adopt PWA. In fact, in 2017, they wrote a really nice blog talking about why PWA is so important. Forget about the app stuff. One of the benefits of doing a PWA website is the fact that the website itself loads faster. And for customers looking to go to your site for a product, well, that totally matters. So the overall user experience here is going to be better. Speaking of PWAs and that edge with Chromium, if you're using that browser, you can actually go to any PWA website now and just install the PWA directly to your Windows 10 machine. That means Twitter and yes, even Google Maps will now work as a standalone application based off of progressive web apps. It's super cool, so go check that out. If you're a gamer, you're going to be very interested in this story. So if you use Game Bar in Windows 10, that is the little system that pops up while you're playing a video game to share screenshots, access your friends, and do more. Well, it's getting a huge revamp. In fact, there's actually now a test ring that you can join, and we have a how-to to do that on Windows Central if you want to check that out. So what does the new Game Bar bring? Well, all sorts of cool stuff. For one, it integrates with Spotify now. That makes sense since Groove is kind of gone. But yes, you can now run your Spotify music while playing a game and control it while you're playing too. That means you can play your Spotify music while in a video game without popping out. It's a really nice feature that I think a lot of people will make use of. One less feature though is going to be able to make memes out of your screenshots for video games. Definitely kind of a weird thing. Not a bad thing to have. I'm just not sure a lot of people are going to use it. But if you're a big fan of memes and doing that while you're playing video games, well, now you have the option. Anyway, we have all the details in the article about that update, which should be coming out soon for everyone else. But if you want to go test it, go check it out. And finally, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 10 update, also known as 19H1. Well, it's actually got a real name this time. It's called the May 2019 update. I know it's boring as heck, but that's all your fault. You guys all made fun of Microsoft for making those earlier names, so they got rid of that, and now they're just calling them by their month and year. It is what it is. But anyway, as to when you can expect that update, it's going to be late May 2019, as you can infer. Microsoft has also released it to the release preview ring now. So if you're really skeptical about these updates and want to test it out, release preview is pretty solid. That means this update, also known as 18362, that's the build number, is actually pretty much ready for prime time. Go join release preview and you'll get it on your computer right now. Now it's going to stay in release preview for nearly a month and that's a big change because Microsoft last time 
didn't release it to release preview for reasons we don't really understand. That's also when they had some problems with the previous update. And one of the other big changes that Microsoft is going to be doing with this update going forward is really interesting. They are no longer going to be forcing feature updates like this on users. This really answers a lot of complaints from hardcore people, mostly on Reddit, I think, who don't like getting feature updates or don't like being forced to get them. There's going to be two options. When you check for updates, it'll merely download drivers, security patches, and antivirus stuff, but it won't download the feature update. Instead, there'll be a little section below that that says download and install. If you don't ever hit that button, well, you never get the feature update. That's not entirely true. You will get it after 18 months when that version of Windows loses support and Microsoft will then force you onto whatever the latest version of Windows 10 is. Now don't worry, Microsoft I'm sure will give you a few pop-ups to remind you that the update exists, but still, this is a significant change I think addresses a lot of people who don't like any of these massive updates. Now going forward, we may even expect some of the feature updates to be tailored back a bit to maybe even once a year. Instead, we'll get service packs that come along for security patches and more in which case those will probably be forced on users as they should be. Security is the only thing that really matters to Microsoft right now. While adding new features to Windows 10 is always admirable, we are at the stage now that Windows 10 is a pretty mature operating system, so there are going to be a ton of game-changing features coming. That said, there are still a lot of things like that new game bar I mentioned earlier or the new Edge from Chromium, which will eventually be baked into Windows 10. Yes, they will get rid of the old Edge at some point. But yeah, Windows 10 is pretty mature at this point, so it is an opt-in system. Let me know, though, what you think about that. Did Microsoft go overboard and too extreme in the other direction, or are you actually happy with this choice? All right, so that does it for this roundup of your Microsoft and Windows news. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a comment below, and I'll try to answer them. Otherwise, don't forget to join us on our weekly podcast on this channel, Fridays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also join us at Mixer.com slash Windows Central, where we'll take your questions live. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everyone.